Hello, hope everyone's doing good today. So today's video is obviously going to be about ink, but it's not going to be an inventory listing of all the inks I have. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not lots of you would kind of rate this as a very large ink collect collection. Uh, but for me, it, it is probably as much ink that I think I will never be able to use uh, probably throughout my lifetime. And I don't really plan to add on too much um, to this collection in the coming years. I might remove uh, or give away some of these inks, um, you know, because maybe I'm not using them, but that's actually uh, my current collection right now. So a very quick overview, uh, you know, I, as you probably can kind of tell, I have a large selection of Pilot Iroshizuku, and that's deliberate. Uh, I really like their line of inks, the color, the vibrancy, uh, even the bottle. I mean, the way that uh, they have actually designed their their bottles to be, you know, and the packaging to to be very handy. First of all, that you can actually just go ahead and open the bottle and you know refill your pen without even taking the bottle out of the of the box that's one the other thing is obviously how nice the bottle looks and how practical it is it has a very wide uh, the bottles have a very wide opening as you saw just now and you know it has that little handy uh you know kind of lower area down there that you can actually kind of extract the last drop of ink from from each bottle which will probably take a long time for me as you can see i have a lot of them um, so large chunk is pilot um, i'm not too keen on their uh, normal line the normal line of pilot inks is they typically only have blue blue black uh, black uh, black and also red um, but i might explore that in in the future the other grouping of or the other company where i actually have quite a lot of ink bottles uh, is actually from Dye Mine. And the reason why I bought these is because they, they were handy to kind of try out whether or not I like, like the particular color of ink. Uh, for example, Imperial Purple here is one of my favorites. Uh, but you know, not having such a big expenditure when buying, uh, buying bottles, right? So I think these go for like three to five dollars for Pretty small bottle, maybe about um, 15 to 20 milliliters, right? The Pilot Hiroshi Zuku here in Singapore goes for about 20, 20 uh, Singapore dollars, which I know it's expensive, but uh, it lasts for a long time. So that's fine by me. I don't have that many uh, Robert Oster inks because my initial impression about their inks is um, that they were pricey, right? And uh, but I have just these two bottles. One is Fire and Ice, and I think the other one is Antelope Canyon. Right. Then I have a selection of Sailor inks. I have the, the black and the blue black just because they were pretty affordable. And I have a, a bottle of uh, ink which is, has been customized for Kingdom Note shop in Japan. Um, and that's actually the garrulous Liddy is actually a bird. Um, it's like a purplish ink. I have three bottles of Noodlers. Don't really use these very much. Uh, the reason, one of the primary reasons why I bought this bottle is because it's a bulletproof ink. Uh, in case I do drawings and art, you know, I actually have a one go to bulletproof or waterproof ink. And lastly, I mean, you guys have seen this before, my uh, Watermans. I've definitely replenished these as I kind of uh, work my way through this bottle. And I have also some inks which came with the pens which I bought. So when I bought uh, Mont Blanc, uh, they actually had this in the gift packaging. So I mean, I have a one single bottle of uh, Mont Blanc Black and this was probably a kind of a mistake purchase. I bought a bottle of Coveco Smoky Gray, which I ended up not using. 
think last but not least, I have a couple of bottles of Pelican 4001. So that was kind of an intro. I just wanted to use this time to talk a little bit about um, my personal do's and don'ts regarding ink buying. Um, and it'll be kind of short where, uh, first of all, I, I think lots of us end up with bottles of ink uh, because the ink is on sale or, you know, um, maybe you might have a deal like in my particular case, I ended up with the dye mine bottles because it was like buy three, get one free type situation. And, you know, it's not the best way to kind of accumulate ink. I think the, the, the best way to accumulate ink is actually to buy inks because of their color, because the, you like the color, obviously, and, you know, kind of uh, build out a color palette, right? So buying inks because they are on sale, because uh, perhaps if you're buying uh, lots of stuff online and then you want to just uh, make up the numbers to you know to reach the free shipping or something like that probably not the best way to accumulate ink um, another thing which I uh, kind of stopped doing or I think it's probably not the right way to, to go is buying ink uh, not because of the color, but because I want to match a particular pen that I have. So if you watched my Pilot 823 video a long time ago, I actually inked that pen up with this. And when I bought Inner Hole, it was originally with the idea of, you know, always inking that pen with, uh, with equivalent brown inks and, and so on, right? And I think that's probably not a good uh, way to do it. Uh, the reason being, you know, the re the very reason why you have fountain pens is that you can put different inks into that uh, into a fountain pen. Uh, so restricting yourself or buying a pen or buying an ink just because it, it fits the pen that you have is probably not something I would uh, kind of advise. Uh, one pretty kind of dumb reason or uh, in, in my opinion, to buy ink is because of their name. So I bought Fire and Ice because um, I, I've actually read about it on blogs and all that, and I thought that the name was cool until I realized that uh, it was pretty much a blue, which I I probably had something close to it in Konpeki, right? So I mean, uh, that's one thing, buying an ink because of the name, probably not the way to go. Um, Probably the last reason I would say not to buy ink is don't buy ink because um, someone else has it, right? So if someone else says, hey, I have a bottle of uh, Murasaki Shiku Shukibu, and because of that, you know, you want to buy the same ink, it's probably not the way to go. So that kind of ends my, my don'ts in a way. Um, what, what I think, um, and and this kind of advice is probably not just for you guys watching, but it's also for me in the future is, um, you know, what, what should you do when it comes to buying inks? First of all, uh, it, you should actually establish a color palette or color selection, which you like, right? So color is, is probably the, the main reason why a lot of people, a lot of us actually got into fountain pens that you could actually try different colors, different colors to suit your personality. A lot of people have a favorite inks, right? Like kind of a, you know, this famous story about Enzo Ferrari is he only used purple ink in his fountain pens. So, I mean, you know, that kind of taps into to the, the emotional side of, of things and the personality of that, you know, and how, how of yours and how it kind of matches to the ink that you prefer. So buy inks definitely because of the palette and because you like them. Uh, another thing that, uh, you know, might result, uh, how, however, I'll kind of temper that advice with, uh, with a little bit of a disclaimer that, you know, I think those of you who watch my videos know that I love uh, Mysterious Blue and I like blue black in general. I think it might not be the best idea to kind of accumulate 
you know, lots and lots of bottles of the same blue black. Uh, maybe the shade will be a little bit different. That Shinkai is also a blue black. Um, so consider not having too many uh, similarities when it comes to ink uh, colors. And last but not least, um, you know, when you buy inks, right, um, if you're not sure whether or not you like the color and, and kind of going back to my bottle of smoky gray, consider buying a sample or, or going to a shop to kind of try out, uh, you know, the ink. Uh, maybe some shops in Singapore, I know, like for example, Think will allow you to kind of, uh, you know, dip your pen into a bottle of sample ink and kind of uh, try it out. Uh, try, contemplate doing that rather than buying a full bottle of ink like I did here and realizing that uh, the color or the, the shade was really not for me. So that was a very quick um, overview of ink, like kind of a, my personal do's and don'ts and my personal story around uh, accumulating uh, all this uh, the collection that you're looking at right now. I would love to know um, for the viewers on my channel what your story is. So please feel free to kind of share your story about ink in the comments below. Uh, let me know your thoughts about today's video and uh, again, you know, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.